Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farms. Here we are in May, halfway through a year almost, and it is absolutely beautiful and sunny at the moment. Spring is definitely here at hand. Yeah, we've got some work to do, including some herbicides. But first of all, to explain why the money's gone up significantly, we're gonna include some clips in a sec. I'll show us how we got this. Most of this was through contracts, but we did go around and collect a few collectibles, so I'll include those now. Just so that you all know where roughly they are. And just again it shows why the money's gone up significantly. Here we are, we've got herbicide to do, and I said we did go get a few collectibles. A lot of it was from the south, there was like a bunch of collectibles to follow this road up and around. Most of them, actually most of them are on ground level, but a couple are on route, so you need something like a take hander now or something. Yeah, the Volvo wheel loader perhaps to reach, but set out 100 pounds an hour and it's big, quite big and bulky so yeah I think I think we'll leave it there for now but so anyways we did a few contracts I think like six or so 
Side contracts, fee fries contracts, including an opportunity off the farmer buying a fertilizer off us, so actually that was quite well, got an extra 10, 15 grand for now. But anywho, the weed should be grown now, and a crop is grown as well, so let's go ahead over here and investigate the weed situation. After the spading equipment here for now, because we do have a slice contract on 107. But yeah, if we have a look here, weeds are growing, needs to be eradicated with the O. I think a sprayer would do it. Alright, let's check in with destroying the crop. Unfolded. And this should be enough herbicide, I think, for now. We still have a like, number 200 litres at shock because we bought 2,500 litre basket of drums, and I was going to say cancers, but no, just pretty much a rack of dr drums. So, if we need more, go to shop and grab them. But this is ours, right? Yep, we did bought this in the last episode, I think it was. But yes, speaking of buying stuff, we are in a bit of a predicament now. We're at 326 grand. We still got money coming in from Sidish, that's ready. So we should get about 60 grand or so from Sidish. 60, 70 grand. After including the contracts and that, that should leave us with about 400 grand by the end of the week. If we can do that, then yeah, that pretty much sets it up really good for getting the farm in. Or do we just go with more pots of land? Do we need an actual farm as such? In a way, really, no, not really. To be honest, think about it. I think personally, some of these farms we can get is like an Well, we're not in a position to do animals, like cows, they need silage, hay, and all that. Straw we need, obviously, from like weeds or something, so we need a wheat field. Chickens, again, we need wheat or barley. Yes, we can do contracts, but. Yeah, they just didn't really seem to be that much yieldage left for us. So, so actually doing the contracts and then just keeping the leftover wheat for ourselves. You only get about maybe a couple of thousand litres, so... The last thing is like this farm over here, the home farm. That's got cows, I think. Cows... Or is it sheep? I'll well, have... An investigation there, but things like sheep, sheep would be alright. I know not everyone's a fan of doing sheep, but I am, they're easy to do. All you need is grass or hay. So, yeah, that's an option for us. But yeah, just look at that, we're barely using the herbicide, so yeah, we will finish this off. And then see where we go from here. So right, with that done, we've decided to make a bit of an exe <laughs> executive 
decision and the old class trader 22,900 a year is okay for us to start off with in our first year and that doing the contracts but if we're doing our own farm work and that and removing silage and that especially with this which is going to be what a hundred pound an hour per when we're using this so I thought makes a quick loot and we bought the trans 70 and this holds 70,000 litres and 930 should just be enough for it it is a heavy load and it is fully loaded so we need to get that to the yard Let's along with that because we need to move the silage and that's because even though if we have a look at the prices first of all prices for silage it's going down it's supposed to be may I don't know around 470 ish which for the most part it is but I have to sell everything container which is just up the road from us literally just there so literally out of here up this little road turn in turn in dump it 500 pounds per thousand litres that is an absolute bargain that is don't tip this already yeah it is a bit long that is pretty much as long as a trader I think we can get away with but if for whatever reason we struggle in that to get this unloaded when it comes to harvest time in the more narrow fields what we can do is purchase a green car, get those for about 20, 40 grand in that, get a decent sized one. About, all we really need is what, 20,000 litres, about two combine loads. At most, about 20, 30,000 litres. And we'll be set. Speed up it here. Choose the speed to 30. But yeah, so that's an option for us. We're still have been on getting a farm now. And that's the thing, as a contractor, what we're doing at the moment, really we shouldn't have to be worried about the money situation. We got plenty of money, we can save this, invest it, and some socks and that, and then mature and that. Yeah, can see that like that turn in there is a bit. See what I mean there? But that's the thing, we will get our own farm now, it's how we need money. I think to really get what we want, I did say about 900 grand. That's the end goal. We can get halfway there. So I'm thinking, if we get Court Farm Country Park, we buy that. That is 309 grand. That is 618. That is 718. 7.32 along with these fields here you're looking at a million quid for a decent farm that with some fields now or another option is what's that linseed get 48 that's 309 grand and that is pretty much on par one of the biggest fields maybe one to two slightly bigger than ours but when you're looking at the rest in that, that's the thing, if you don't get a farm in that, that's fine. You always get the cheaper farm, but if you say, get that, fridge and nine, oh, look at what crops. Ooh. Let's turn these back on a sec. Because so yeah, that is canola or oil seed rape. So we can get those two, decent canoe than that. Either we can get canoe oil from that, or rapeseed oil. But then again, also, tempted with 45 though. Cause that is field beans. Along with what we're doing at the moment. Oof. That's the thing, that's the thing. If you want to go for a loan in that, get these two fields here. And hopefully we can sell enough, get enough money in, and purchase the home farm. That that would be 
good for us, I think, really. And I think in all honesty, that would be good. But uh, again, that requires a lot of work and a lot of effort. But you know what? I'm prepared for it. I'm prepared to put the work in that. So, especially with this contract here, we're going to be doing later on this week. Yeah, maneuverability ain't the greatest as well for this. I think it's got its pros and cons, and that's what you get with this. So, what something like that would do? Go and uncover this, and we'll grab the Volvo. And there we are, arriving with the Volvo. Just gonna be a bit of a tight squeeze in initially. So we'll make sure once we're done with this, we will top this up when we give this back to the dealership. But yeah, this is going to take literally two loads to do, because what was it? Yeah, 120, well, about 130,000 here, so literally two loads of this. And then that's it, really, so we should make pretty much quick work of this. There's no bridges having to cross, so there's no chances of having another disastrous moment like that last time, sitting silage. But yeah, I'm still bummer about the old yield loss and that. And not getting even more of what we should be getting from this, but it's one of those things, it is what it is, you can't help it. But yeah, I said it's going to take seven buckets to do. Seven buckets per load, and this requires one full load and a near partial full load. So, we have a sovereign container, 500 quid per thousand litres. That is 65 grand there and change. So, you know what? That's going to be a definite benefit for us. Yeah, like with the fuel beans and that, they're good, they're really valuable at four grand. But you have to sell them for ten months, so uh, that's another thing. We're gonna need a silo. Shiza. That is, uh, that's why we need a farm to store stuff in that as well. Oh, uh, yeah, so, so many. If, Choices to make in But you know what? We're just going to keep on smashing out. We're doing well. We're hard working in that, so. We're not complaining. Just frustrated, that's all it. But that's the thing, that's the reality of this, what we're doing. But we'll get there eventually. Within the next two years or so. Ain't too bad. Yeah, so anyways, I will finish this off, get this all sold. That's one more, yeah, one more. But yeah, we'll finish this off, get this all sold, and then we'll go from there.
Well, that was interesting. Went to start the signage, and yeah, of course, yeah, South Africa team is also for signage for this contract here on field 106, 107, one of those big fields here by Court Farm. That's an absolute bummer that is, but anyways, we've got those. They just contain all of them over there now. So let me do this contract. I might as well do it now to get our money back. It makes sense. But yeah, first of all, we've got to take us back to the dealership. I think it will just be over half past one, which was when we leased it at half eleven. Half eleven, twenty-five to twelve, something like that, but. You know what? We'll just pay the £300 to the dealership. Everything's been repaired. Everything's been washed. It's topped up with fuel. The only wear and tear is issued from the farm down to the dealership. But yeah, £300 for this, just for an hour. Well, oh, no, three hours, not an hour. Obviously, some may say, oh, that's a bit cheap now. But as well as things is, when you think about it, it's all about scaling. We're doing sort of outside the role aspect. We're doing one inking day is one week, so that's a one to seven ratio. So really, three hours is twenty-one hours. First with this, unloading that, perhaps not, but. Sorry, not three hours, somewhere between three and twenty-one hours, so and then again does that sort of match up in that? Not really, but just within the economics of farm sim, it sort of makes sense. Last thing I guess is that whole aspect of role playing to sort of reality and gaming. Because like something like what Mississippi was on about on this latest episode on Court Farms about like the uh, you know how much contractors are paid per acreage. Done. Well yeah well he's on about that sort of there is a price difference between the two. Of course there is. Second. I don't know what we said 400 over since we had to do a little bit of maintenance, sir. This works up. Transfer money to the dealership. 400 quid. There we go. But yep, yeah, let's go to the tractor a sec. There we go. That is all of our mowing stuff ready. We've got the dandy with the trailer. We've got the cloth raw to roll it, not rotor cut. 650 with the mower and 930 with the mower. So yeah, 107 is here. So it's this field here. Decent size. But yeah, sort of back to what I was saying that. Like what Mr. P was saying. It's that whole aspect of where do you draw the line between trying to be sort of realistic ish and then just within the confines of the game. Obviously, yeah, it's alright, I'm not, not going to really repeat what Mr. P said, I'm sure anyone who's watching this has watched Mr. P's video. But it's sort of, just, yeah, reinforce this point, like the acreage, like. Some of these fields are like one, maybe two acres or that. In reality, yeah, you will get paid 15 grand for a contract, or a harvested contract for that two acres of fields. But then again, it's two acres in game. Whilst in reality, maybe slightly bigger. Obviously, like, these maps are hard to scale. This is a 2x map, which is. Yeah, two kilometers by two kilometers. So that's four square kilometers, basically. And some farms are bigger than that. Obviously, 
how do you ver convert square kilometers into acres? I don't know on top of my head, but I'm sure there's someone out there who's, who can, and it's probably has done the math on this. Why would he miss me say, like, saying, not on, who knows, on that? Well, yeah, so that skein that feels like on Clarkson's farm, his feels total to what? About 520 acres? Acres now, something like that, was it? Hectares or acres, whatever it was the biggest. What's off my head, or something like that? I think it was 520. Now, I'm speaking, is it acres or hectares? It really does vary because it was like me personally when I was growing up. Oh, yeah, the horses. Beautiful things. Yeah. You know, so we're riding bareback now without, you know, all the saddles and that. Oh, yeah, and they were hard working now. Oh, believe you me. Especially where I live in sort of Avon and Somerset region. Depending on where. On where you just pull up and that, or when we just pull up, whether or not you call it Avon or Somerset or whatever. But regardless, we have some fields and that. Actually, I think we have like a couple of fields, not massive fields, I think. We sort of got it now and sort of skied it from a farm sim player's perspective, which is about like, what, seven feet tall or something. I'll say that the field we had, not as, actually, actually in parts, quite as big as this. Yeah, about sort of similar this size, but in a different layout, and yeah. Those beautiful animal horses now. Challenging, especially when it comes to the winter and that, where the fields will stay out now. Obviously, where you get torrential rain and that, or ice or snow. And then melts and that, then you just get a thick, glupious amount of mud. I roll down the slopes and up the hills, and oh, yeah, I remember sort of me and my dad once was we went up there over Christmas and that. We had to get horses, bells, and that. Bells of hay and that, and that was absolutely just because you got to think, it's like. What was it? It was about a 700 pound bell, 700 pounds. I was like, key grounds, I don't know, but yeah, it was like this massive 600 pound bell, just two of us pushing it through three, about two, three feet off just thick mud. Oh. Oh, there were the days. What was I on about again? Oh, that's the thing, sometimes you sort of get a bit of a mental to wonder. But, anyways, we will finish this off, get his mode, wind road, and build. We'll set it to sell everything container. What is the prices at the moment? No, my luck, it's dipped. No, it's 502, so it's still going down, but not that much. But yes, anyways, we'll get this all done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments.
So there we go, that is the baiting done. We've got five bells here first of all. We've got a full traverse of 28 bells ready. And these were the extra ones that was left over, so we'll quickly sell these. So these are five bells at 7,000 litres, so that is 35,000 litres of bells. There we go, we'll get a bit of money of course. 8,364 quid. And now let's see how much we get for the other 28. And with that 28, this is what, just under 200,000 litres, I think. So, should get just over 100 grand from it. So, that would mean obviously 60, 60 grand would come from the contract. Oh no, sorry, 60 grand, or 65-ish, 70 grand. Let's say 65 would have been thrown in the actual size pit. And these are just the extra ones. Bang on, 100 grand almost. That is 108 grand. And you know what? I cannot complain about that. That should really helps us with what we want to do with the whole new plot situation, or plots. Then again, have a look in the used market. Okay, disc arrow, good size, but obviously these, not for us. Too big for the farm. However, this has popped up. A 12 meter cedar. Just looking at the length of it. Yeah, I'll say that is big enough for the farm. Cause it's, so that it'll be 6 meters long. Or just over 6 meters long. Horsepower carbon ain't a issue. But then if we compare it to other cedars. Uh, these ones here. 6 meters and they're a hundred grand. That's the one there on offer. But we can get the 12800. Which for I can gather is... Just like this horsepower requirement. I guess this is a newer model. Gotta be a newer model or something. Ah, no, that's why that's 8 meters compared to 12 meters. That's why this is a different model. So, do we go for that? If her that has only just popped up, so we can wait and see what other contracts bring in that. Because, again, I saw it being rambling about. I shall complete that contract. Shriek. It, yeah, there's a lot of hay contracts. But yeah, I'm thinking... Farm plot, one, two, three. That is 200 grand. And then... That, 48. So that is half a mil. I think if we go for those two plots of land, that would be nice. Get two decent sized plots of land. And if you get the rapeseed fields, uh, yeah, that's another quarter of a mil. So we need an additional 300 grand. And it's obviously not including the cost of the headers and that. So, the core, okay, everything can be used with the green headers, that's good. But, yeah, so, not that one there, we want this one here. Even this of it, that will cost us 3200. I'll say that will cost us about five, six grand a day, including the work hours. Plus that, the head of trader. Actually, you know what, we can afford that, and that'd be worthwhile. Because you have rape seeds, field beans, and linseed. 
Oh, sorry, if we have a look. Phil beans are ready to harvest from October. And then seed is July. And rape seed is July as well, so actually that works out quite well for us actually. Yeah, there's a few things to think about there. So this, this essence we got one and a half months. Yeah, one and a half months to earn three hundred grand. I doubt we're going to do that, unless we get other contracts popping up. Try to think, is there anything to harvest in June? Not really, no. Nah, just alfalfa and all that. Unless we get any alfalfa contract. Actually, is there any alfalfa fields? I don't know, if I turn all these off. No, no one's doing alfalfa. Not a single soul. Alright. Good bit of information to know. Perhaps we do alfalfa. alfalfa. Well, what I want to look at is. Okay, all the fields have been seeded, so there's going to be no more seeding contracts. Wow, actually, looking at that. Most of these fields are fully fertilized. I guess any ones that ain't is like some of these grasslands. Yeah, so pretty much. Yeah, cause that's like a first application of fertilizer down 66 and 68 in that. They got crops right yet. No, they're grass. Ah, so we may get some. Still transfer furrows and contracts like 107, maybe 106.54 now. If we could get those contracts and snatch them, yeah, definitely would be in the money on that. But yeah, that's a lot of things to think about. A lot of work is going to be ahead. I think it looks like we're going to need a loan of at least 200 grand. Maybe squeeze another 100 grand if we're lucky, depending on the contracts between now and July. But then again, that's if ever in July. Because again, if we have a look. Rapeseed, canola. That's July through to September. Linseed. Same thing, July to September. We've also got rye. We've got to have tons of contracts. I think, yeah, we're going to be busy this year with the harvesting contracts. And I'll put the effort in. As long as it ain't like sugar beet and that. Then you I may do the Australia Beat contract if it is needed in the area. Because obviously we don't discriminate in terms of what we do do and don't do. But luckily there's only two plots of land that does sugar beet. Oh, 88, well, 88 and 100. That big potato field, so we may get those popping up. But yeah, so anyways. That uh, is where I'm going to leave it today. So next time, we got some work to do. I think try to earn some money in half for the harvest. Now, may still even knowing about getting a farm at some point, but yeah, there's, we're in no particular rush for it. So yeah, I think we'll skew off that idea for now. But as always. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're stay. But for now, this is me, Farmer, and Void Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.